What's up, niches? And welcome to another Just for Fun, this time featuring Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz. And, uh, I have no real reason why I'm doing this one. In fact, uh, it was actually the first Wii game that I ever bought. In fact, I bought it before the Wii actually came out. That was not who I wanted to choose. But uh, the game came out, uh, before the system was officially released. And while waiting there camping out for the Wii, I actually went to pick that up. But, um, today's mission, we are just going to try to go through all the stages in one of the worlds. Act 1 is too easy. Act 4 is almost a midnight, midway point. So I'm going to do Act 5, because it's a little bit hard while a little bit easy. Simple controls, you just tilt the Wiimote back, forth, left and right, hit the A button to jump. In fact, this is the first Super Monkey Ball where you can actually jump. I don't think counting Super Monkey Ball Adventure, but whatever. And this will probably kick my butt, but this is what you guys came to watch anyway. But yeah, Super Monkey Ball, it's a pretty don't... Come on, you can do this. Make it simple for me. Yes! But... Really? Really? F you, game. F you. Just couldn't let me have... It. I knew it was too easy, but um... What is it? Yeah, Super Monkey Ball is a pretty interesting series, it's as weird as the name is. You know, anyone with a dirty mind can pretty much imagine or consider what Super Monkey Ball could also be considered. But they're jerks and noobs. I guess I'll have to take the hard way. Carefully. And unfortunately, um, you still have a limited time limit, so you kind of want to hurry while, you know, you take your time. In this game, it's pretty challenging. Like, you can fall off a good amount of times, and it definitely doesn't help that you only have lives, rather than unlimited amount of times and just lose points when you fall. Goal! And as for this being one of the first uh, Wii games, it actually looked really, really impressive. In my opinion, you know, compared to the GameCube. And as people were, like, rumoring around saying that this was just, you know, a GameCube 1.5 instead of a real sequel or whatever, but whatever. And there's not really much of a storyline in this game other than that some special golden bananas have been stolen. And you have to go get them back by rolling around in your ball. Why did I jump? Oh, alright, that wasn't that bad. Hmm. 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 Oh, crap, what do I do here? Really? I'm gonna have to swing on that? I mean, I played this game before, but it has been a while. Some kind of bull shocker you just gonna commence. Alright. And yeah, rather than you controlling the monkey, you actually, uh, you really control the field that the monkey is on. As you tilt the Wiimote or the control stick if you're playing one of the older Monkey Ball games, then the field shall turn and tilt, and the monkey shall roll. So it was really obscure, and then when it came to multiplayer, when there's parts where everyone was playing at the same time, somehow everyone was able to turn their own parts of the world and do all this stuff. It was weird. But there are some good memories with Super Monkey Ball. In fact, this is one of the few- oh, re whoa, really? 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 Whatever. God dang it. But, uh, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, there were a lot of good memories with Super Monkey Ball, especially number two. In fact, I remember, uh, I was hanging out at a friend's house, and we just kept playing one of the few minigames available called Monkey Target, and we did that for, like, three to four hours on end, just flying or gliding over to a target. And, you know, when you land on a certain target, you get more points. Hence, Monkey Target. And it was fun. And I'm hoping I can get this done before the YouTube time. And I just missed my chance to go faster. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, but um, in Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz for the Wii, uh, there were several minigames that you could do. Do not fall off, aye aye. Yeah, but um, they actually put in about 50 minigames, but a lot of them I think were just little tech demos just to show off what the Wii could really do. But it was cool to see that Sega got a jump on this thing. Surprisingly, they did not give a launch title to Sonic. But you know, Nintendo didn't give a launch title to Mario for both the GameCube and the Wii. I mean, seriously, the GameCube, Luigi got his chance to shine. With Luigi's Mansion, which wasn't even like a real, uh, platformer. No, for the love of God, no! Oh yeah, if I get a game over, I am uh, gonna stop here too. And the same full part here is that this is only the second level. Let's see if I can back out. I cannot back out. This is horrible. 
And you guys, again, are my audience watching me fail at this. Can I do it? Uh, most likely not at this rate. It's weird, this is like the third game that I'm not... I, it's... Uh, I can't even explain it. I can't even form the right words, and I miss that swing again. The only thing worse than sucking at a game is waiting for certain things to happen. This is a video game, I should make things happen. And there goes my train of thought about other stuff I was talking about. Because frustration takes over anything else you do in life. Unless you got a calm head and a round ball like this monkey. And I'm still trying to remember the whole debate about the difference between a chimp and a monkey. I know one has a tail and the other one doesn't. Also, I wonder who would win in a battle. The Super Monkey Ball characters or the Donkey Kong characters? I mean, they do have the DK rap on their side. Come on, don't fall this time. Please, please, please. You know you love me, Ai. -Ai. You love me. Fresh and fresh and monkey. Awesome. Nothing can stand in my way, and we got 30 seconds to get to the goal, and we're already hitting 6 minutes and 30 seconds in this video. This is the worst video ever. I don't even know why you guys are watching this right now. And taking my own stuff. Oh. Oh. Alright, I thought there was like some other little challenge, but... But... Come on, work with me, Wiimote. Work with me. Goal! Yes, one thing I especially love in this... Only the third world. Wow. I'm not sure if I can beat this in time. But this looks like a straightaway. But as I think I was saying, one thing I loved about this game... Uh was the graphics, or, well, you know, it looked much better than GameCube graphics. Mixing cell shading with, a uh, somewhat detailed cell shading, I think. It was just so bright and vibrant, frick! <laughs> and I'm down to my last life. If I fail, that is it. If I succeed, then we shall keep moving on. When you collect a certain amount of bananas, you get a 1-up. Please let it be 20. It is 20. So now you have a reason to collect bananas, other than extra points. Don't fall. Oh, you freaking uh... Too many wavy steps. They're undulating. I don't even think that's the right word, whatever. And watch, there's something at the very last second. Or not. I don't know who would go through for that banana on the other side, but I am not going to. Number four. Let's go. Those jerks. But I think I heard that there's going to be a Super Monkey Ball on the 3DS too, which is going to be super fantastical, awesomely tacular. Are these things falling? No, they're just waving up and down. This is going to be... Oh, no, no. All right. I think the hardest thing in this game is, like, once you lose your, uh... Not train of thought, as soon as you lose your motion, you're almost screwed. Because, you know, you have to turn yourself around. And you're tilting the Wii mode, so it's not like you have a controller that makes it easier. And we're going up, and up, and higher. Oh yeah, if you do happen to die in, uh, these bonus stages, do not worry, because you don't lose a life. But you miss out on the chance to, uh, get extra points and one-ups if points are what you care about, and if 1-ups is what you need. Because this is what you need. You need. Third episode is just for fun, and the commentary also sucks. I think. Uh, let me know otherwise. Tell me if you're enjoying it. If you're not enjoying it, screw you. What are you even watching this video for? No one loves you. Okay, everyone loves you. I was just kidding. I was just jealous. No, whatever. Dang. I refuse to believe in the Let's Play curse. Which, if you didn't know, the Let's Play curse is that when you play a game without being watched or recorded, you can do like so awesome. But then, while being recorded, suddenly you just start to suck at everything. What is this? What is this? No, 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 no. Oh crap, I have to get into it. Don't. Because it will take forever if... Uh, no, I have to wait for this thing to come back. This sucks. Ai is not happy. 
See, by the time that thing gets back, time will pretty much be up. Come to me now! Avashi! And roll towards thee. Who is me? Oh, and there are bumpers on this thing, too. And if you know, pinballs and bumpers do never, ever, not, ever... Oh, there would be one in the middle. But yeah, they never really bode well with each other. Because... Oh, really? F you. No! 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 Yes! No! Hey! As if waiting all that time was totally worth it, which it wasn't. In this game, even though you finish all the stages, you are not going to leave me behind this time. Even if you finish all the stages, there is a boss battle waiting for you. So, you know, that's also just as fun, too. What am I talking about? This is just for fun. There's no need to take this seriously. I'm going to freaking kill someone if I miss the... Alright. People get to survive for another day. Stage 6. How far can we get? There's only 8 stages, too, so, um... Yeah. This is going to be easy pickings. If I don't get myself lost. Look, a bridge. Suddenly things got easier. It's kind of funny how I was almost about to get a game over, and suddenly out of nowhere, I miraculously got uh, some one-ups. And now I'm going to run out of time rather than get a game over. But whatever. Oh, this is going to be real easy. As it circles around, we just stand still, and it comes through us. Goal! And hitting 12 minutes, three more minutes to go. Can I do it? Stage 7. Yes, in this game, sometimes they will have multiple paths. And, uh... The harder path will have uh, harder ways to do things, and the easier path will get less bananas and less points. But, uh, that's your option if you choose to do so. And not give a flip. Or, whoa, what's this thing doing? Really? Freaking platforms. FU platforms. This is almost as bad as that can kicking game, also from Mega Man Legends. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. There are no such things as breaks on this game either. Come on, have this video has been waiting for stuff? Carefully. Carefully. Easy. Oh, whoa. Don't leave me behind. Whoa, no. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh. Why do they keep putting bumpers in the middle? Alright. This is my final stand. Almost. Oh, oh, ho, ho. Alright, okay. 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 Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> yes. Go, 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 go. Best place to go. Oh, that goal thing sounded really stupid. The last thing to go is stage eight. Can I get this done in the next minute? Tune in to find out. We're going up and up and higher and higher. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Cause we're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. Oh no. I'm not gonna take that. Ah, uh, he fell. That's what you get for bumping into me while I'm singing Anarchy. I think. Well, this is taking a while. And we jump. Okay, almost there. And we jump again. Don't let there be some kind of cruel joke. 30 seconds left. Almost. Oh, come on. I think jumping would have actually been faster. Uh, oh, whoa. What the? Really? Yes, goal! Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, thing, and I shall catch you guys later, kids.